My name's John Davis. In this video, I'm going to show you 11 genuine ways that people are making money online. And the best part is there's an option for everyone. So if you're not technical, if you don't have the budget for fancy equipment, or if you've got a busy life with family commitments and a stressful nine to five job, then there's something in here for you. Let's face it, most of us just want a way of making a little extra money. And that's what this video is going to help you with. There is a caveat though. You're gonna have to put some upfront work in and don't be afraid to learn new skills. Most importantly, you need to take action. I know full well that many of you want to earn money, but only a handful of you will actually take the necessary steps. So let's go with 11 legit ways to make money online and passive income. First, let's explain what the difference is between active and passive income. Active is where you get paid for your time spent and the work that you actually do. For example, your nine to five job. So you work 40 hours at your hourly rate and you get paid exactly that. Yet at the weekend, you'll make zero earnings because you're off the clock. Whereas passive income has the potential to be exponentially more. In other words, with passive income, you put the work in once, then the income has got the potential to keep coming in afterwards on autopilot. Keep watching and I'll show you some examples. Now, the reason that I'm including active income is because sometimes we've got to work for that money that allows us to invest in more automated methods. There can be a faster way to earn an additional money, but not always scalable. In truth, all of these work, but we all live different lives and we all have different circumstances. So let's try and find the one that's perfect for you at this very moment. So first of all, we're going to look on Fiverr.com, which is an online marketplace where people monetize their skills and knowledge. You create a profile and you tell the world what it is that you do and how you can help them. Some people make vast amounts part-time and full-time on Fiverr. So one of the things I like about Fiverr is they take care of all the marketing, all the admin, all the paperwork and the contracts. You just put your profile on there, tell people what it is that you do, and they're going to be going to Fiverr trying to find people with your skills. So all of that kind of hassle is taken care of for you. Now Fiverr covers a massive array of different services. A few examples are creating artwork for YouTubers, translating content into another language, designing logos, or even recording voiceovers. You name it, you can probably find someone on Fiverr that will do it if you pay them. Remember, you're getting paid for your time, but there's huge potential here, as anyone in the world could hire you for their next project. Next up, we're going to teach English. There's loads of companies that provide this service, teaching English to Chinese youngsters. There's TeachAway, GoGo Kid, VIP Kids, Q Kids, and tons more. Now, whilst this isn't going to make you rich, it can be a really good way to make some additional cash on the side. It's flexible, and you're teaching from your own home using remote technologies. While this may have scared people off at one point, due to the global pandemic right now, many of us are adapting to remote teaching. Who knows, maybe you could even start your own business using the same techniques. Now, if you like the sound of teaching, but not necessarily teaching English language, then stay tuned, because coming up later, I've got the perfect passive income opportunity just for you. Now, number three is textbroker.com. Now, do you enjoy to write? Then this could be the one for you. So Textbroker is a platform that people in need of content will go to and they'll pay for someone to write content for them. It could be bloggers, businesses, anyone who needs some writing doing. That person could be you. Textbroker takes care of all the admin and the marketing and offers you a free registration where you can seek paid jobs and work flexibly with whatever free time you have. So if you enjoy writing, go and check out textbroker.com. So number four is Upwork.com. This is very similar to Fiverr, but I'm going to include it anyway. It's the last active income site I'm going to mention as it's one of my favorites. I've used it several times to find people that help me with my blogs and YouTube channel. It's similar to Fiverr. It's a place to showcase your talents and charge for your services. Now that could be writing, designing, creating sales funnels, a virtual assistant maybe. It's a service-related marketplace with a great reputation. Let's look at some of the best ways to make passive income now, where we can create content once, leave it out there to do its thing whilst we focus on the next piece. Number five, one of my favorites is YouTube. 79% of internet users have a YouTube account. And as technology advances, we consume video more and more. Every day, people watch 1 billion hours of video on YouTube. Did you know you can actually make money on YouTube and for free? Many do this by allowing YouTube to run adverts. This then generates an income for the channel owner without them having to do anything. But do YouTube make it easy for you to run adverts? No, you need to qualify first. So only the dedicated will get to this point. 
you need to rack up 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers in a 12 month period. Now that's no mean feat, but it's absolutely possible. The good thing is there are many other ways of making money on YouTube and I've outlined them all in this other video. So the video is on screen now and it's also in the description. Check that out if you want to monetize your YouTube channel. But the main method of passive income for me on YouTube is affiliate marketing. That's where you recommend a product or service. If someone buys through your special link, then you're going to get a commission. Now, some sites may only give you small commissions, let's say 3 to 5%. But equally, if you promote the right products, then they can pay big money. $500, $1,000, maybe even more. However, the key here is to create content that helps people and in turn encourages your channel to grow. Number six is a local digital agency. Now, given that I'm creating this video in the summer 2020, there's never been a more important time for local businesses to get their message out online, as well as looking to generate leads and additional customers. This opens a world of opportunity to those that are more tech savvy. Remember, many small business owners today won't have the same skills that you have. We didn't have cell phones or internet. You could create a service for helping small businesses with social media, content management, building sales funnels, creating lead magnets, managing email outreach, designing advertising, you name it. If it's something that you can do online, then you can help others get to that point. My advice would be to start local. You understand your area and the people and businesses in that area. So you can add that face-to-face -face approach where required. Find something you're good at and you can always scale it out from there. Next, we're going to write a blog. If you prefer to write than speak, then writing a blog could be your gateway to additional passive income. It's the OG of making money whilst you sleep. Similar to YouTube in that you have to spend time up front researching, writing, then promoting your work, which may sound daunting, but honestly, anyone can learn. I'm living proof of that. It's a way that we can use the written word to help people, guide them, show them solutions, which, coincidentally, can earn you a nice commission through affiliate marketing again. Blogging is awesome and the costs are still low. For less than $100, you can have a domain name and hosting and the more that you develop your skills, you can upgrade as you go. It's a real low cost way of creating an online business. Number eight is merch design. Sites like Redbubble, Society6, TeePublic, they provide original and unique designs that you won't necessarily find on your high street. This could be t-shirts, posters, mugs, hoodies, you name it. Lots of designs that are specific to one of your interests. Now, the reason that they've got so many different designs is because unlike retail, they don't make anything until someone orders. This allows them to outsource all of the designing to you. Yes, if you've got some basic graphic design skills, even if that's just typing in words and phrases, then you can upload your designs to these merch sites and set your prices. It really is that easy. Redbubble takes care of getting people onto their site and you just get a cut of the final price. As with anything, it's a numbers game. The more quality designs you get on there, the better. But once they're done, you can sell passively to clients all around the world at any time of the day and you have to do absolutely nothing. Number nine is Etsy. Now Etsy is a marketplace for buying unique handcrafted goods, jewellery, gifts, etc. Now this is active income because we have to make the goods, the gluing, the sewing, the assembling and breaking. However, one thing many people don't realise is that you can also make passive income on Etsy in two ways. One is to design and sell digital downloads. Quotes are great for this. But if you design a quote in an interesting way, upload that file and let Etsy take care of the rest, they'll point people towards your designs and handle all of the sales process. The second way to make money with Etsy is using a blog or YouTube or in fact any social media account. Instagram and Pinterest are great for this. And you want to create content that people find interesting and include samples from Etsy. Use their affiliate scheme to earn around 4% on any sales through your link. So for example, on one of these social media channels, you could have a post there that's talking about the perfect gifts for parents. And each time someone clicks on one of them links and buys that particular gift, you're getting a commission. Number 10 is drop shipping. Now it's surprisingly easy to create your own online store these days. Sites like Shopify take all the hard work away from you. They allow you to pick a templated shop theme, add some details, import some products and start selling. They take all of the technical wizardry out of it. Now that's great if you manufacture your own products, but what about those of us that don't? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. You can use services like Obelo to dropship. This is where you don't have to buy any upfront goods. You set your prices and when you make a sale, you then order direct from the manufacturer and you just play the broker. So as far as the customer knows, they think they've ordered it from your professional looking retail store when in actual fact, you never touch them goods. They go straight from the manufacturer to the customer. 
So last up is Skillshare, which is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creatives and curious people on topics such as illustration, photography, video, design, freelancing, tons on there. I've just started doing this myself and I'm going to be building out my teacher profile. Now the reason it took me this long to get started with Skillshare is because I thought, I can't teach anyone anything until I'm an expert, until I know everything about that subject. And it's that mindset that held me back for a long time. What you need to understand is that you can learn almost anything on the internet using Google and YouTube. With a little practice, you can then teach others. They don't need the full A to Z. They don't need to be the master of everything. Often, they just need the answer to something much smaller and more specific. As an example, they may just want to know how can they create YouTube thumbnails or how can they create an ebook in Canva. Skillshare gives you this opportunity. You upload small video lessons and tutorials and then you can make money in two ways. Firstly, if someone signs up to Skillshare, then you get a small introductory commission. That's nice. Secondly, if you create content, then Skillshare will pay you for each minute watched. So unlike having a big course that you have to try and sell and you only get money in your pocket for each time you sell, then Skillshare will make you money just for each minute that's watched. So if you want to check it out, if you want to brush up on some of your skills or even register as a teacher yourself, then I've left my link below where you'll get two months free. Now, passive income does not mean easy. I like to look at it as digital real estate. Each piece of content that I create, I put the work in to make it, then I put it out to the world. Move on to my next piece. Meanwhile, in the background, people start to find your previous work, reading it, watching it, clicking on your links and making you money, all whilst you're working on something completely new. Now, if you want to know what the best products and services are and the fastest way to build passive income streams, then check out the links in the description where I've also included some more videos that should help you on your way. Thanks for watching.